Now set up in the field here looking into the woods because when I went up there I spotted a load of rats running across that roadside. But Charlie Fox rocked up, ruined it for everybody. This is the main part of the farm and this area backs onto the woods where Mr Fox was. So, first shot of the evening. Ooh, look at that mess. Those GSBs, 10.34 grain, don't half hit hard. That's 45 yard shot, travelling about 720 feet per second. And that's just blown his head apart. Absolutely cracking shot. I'm pleased with that. Those pellets really do do the business. Well, they do if you can hit your damn target. I'm not sure if this rat lifted its head just at the right time and avoided the pellet, or if I was just a crap shot and missed. Either way, he was off. Let's have a look at the replay. Committing to the shot now. Wallop, just under his chin. Hits the wall. He gets away, unscathed. Not to worry, I will get him another day. The next shot, however, the rat comes out to play. Not quite so lucky. It's game over. Only the three shots on the Alba farm. Two kills. It's getting very quiet up there. I've been hitting that quite hard. So onto the dairy farm. Now this is that old tractor in the corner and this exhaust pipe here is housing rats. They seem to be climbing in there and cuddling up together. So obviously that's proven a bit of a problem to get them. Can you see them moving around there? I spotted that on the thermal and then I had a look on the infrared and you can see them in there. So that's what I saw. And you can see that one disappearing inside as well. They're kind of climbing in, climbing right down the bottom and huddling up together. So I'll go over with me grabber, stick it in there, give it a wiggle it around, chase them out. I honestly thought they were going to jump on me at one point. There they are, look at that, huddled up together in the bottom. Spotted this one on the thermal. No hiding from that. Go for a shot on his friend, but he's off. Sod that for a game of soldiers, he says. I'm away. And he tumbles off the bottom of the tractor, takes a dirt nap. Knows your neighbour. Down he goes. This one won't turn around, so I took the pellet in the back of his head. Kicks off the tractor with nerves. Lands on the deck. Beautiful, nice easy pickup. Back on that old tractor in the corner. And got two fat lads wandering around. I want at least one of them tonight. I'm going to break at least one of them. They're not coming out into my little kill zone there. But it doesn't matter. Because I spot the glow of his eyes in the infrared. Tucked away there. Moves just at the wrong time. Get a high body shot. Doesn't like that. And he wanders off. Comes back out. Shot two. Pretty sure that's got him, but send an insurance shot. Three shots to get that one down, but it went down in the end. Here's his mate looking for him. <laughs> too late. You could you could have joined in. You could have had a pellet too if you stood still long enough. He's not coming back out. Crap shot coming up. Little low, skimmed right underneath the rat, and he bolts off there. Really frustrating, actually. But hey, I will get him. I will get another chance on him, I know that. Now, this rat under this tyre, I missed it on the first pass, but I got him on the second pass. I saw the glow from the IR in his eyes. So I put a pellet in there. 
he didn't jump out so I thought I'd quickly check to see if I got him and the thermal shows heat signature from the blood patch there. This tractor, oh, driving me insane. So this area here and the area just above are where rats are coming in and they're nesting and you can see them crawling around the engine block. They chew through cables and pipes, everything. Create a real mess. I can't take a shot on there. I'm not going to risk pass through or a miss and damaging that anymore. You can see on the thermal where they're coming on the right hand side. They're huddled together in the middle and that heat patch at the top there, that's where the nest is. I only found that by chance because after a while I got fed up of watching them in there and not being able to shoot them. So I chased them out and I'll show you how I did that soon. This juvenile wandering around the machinery is about to see what a GSB looks like. Crunch. Just turned his head inside out. He kicks himself across to the other side of the tractor and straight out onto the floor. You can see him there at the top of the picture there on the thermal. Now across the left hand side here, oh there's a rat tail, we'll have that. Across the left hand side here, this is the tractor that I was pointing at earlier on. You can see where they are all hiding, the nest and the little huddle, which is all this area here if you remember. So I'm going to get in there soon and I'm going to chase them out. A day or so before I came out on the shoot, I decided to fill the magazines before I packed the gun up and I got my three year old daughter to help me out. And this is why it wasn't a very good idea. Empty. Let's try again. Empty. She loaded the first slot on the magazine and put it back in the box. I thought the magazine was full when I checked it by the low light I had on my head. Everything looked fine until I took one shot and then I found that once that had been shot there was nothing else left in the mag. But I reloaded and took that one down. Bless her, she thought she was helping. I suppose next time my mini humans decide to help I'm going to double check their work. Quick scan around on the ground here. Now I did see something across the back of that pallet. I saw it on the thermal, so there's no mistake in what I saw. Okay, enough's enough. I'm going to go in there and chase these scaly tails out. I'm not going to take a shot in there, I'm not going to risk damaging that tractor. So I safety the rifle, I go across with my grabber and rattle the hell out of the place to get them out of there. like a little dinosaur chasing the rats. I'm rattling around but we're not actually moving out of the engine block, we're moving around inside. So I reach for my secret weapon. Dettol. I spray inside the engine block and as they run past I spray behind them and they shift out of there as if their backside was on fire. One of them bolts straight across the trailer arm at the back onto the ground and into this old tractor here another one nailed straight down he's on the rat nap and another one give him a severe headache knocked him straight off the back of that unit those two were in fairly quick succession then I moved on to the straw and the hay in the bottom corner where all the feed is this has been very active over the last few weeks and this one's sitting pretty. That pellet sent him tumbling. Look at this. Wallop. Straight down. This one heard the commotion and disappeared back into his nest. Just sticking his bum in my face. Rude. At the back of the barn again, I spot this one coming out on stage for a little performance. Wallop. Exit stage right. This is quite good though. Get back on stage. Finish the show. We want to see helicopter tail, disinhibition dance. We want to see the lot. And he performs. Kicks himself off behind the machinery there. There he is. There he is. There he is. Contemplating another shot, 
but his head's not moving, eyes are glazed, the tail's going at the back end, he's a goner. This one, look what he's doing, helping himself to some cat food I put down. That bait spot worked a treat. Liquidised cat food, I used trout, cod and haddock I think it is. Liquidise it, mix it up with a little bit of vegetable oil, so a couple of raw eggs, leave it to fester for a few days and then use it for bait. They absolutely love it. That's another one that was hiding in amongst that machinery. Drops down in a second. Heard him hit the floor. There we go. Kicks himself off behind that wheel. And I'll go and retrieve him. Tucked away nicely. He's out for the count. Oh, come on. Too late to get a shot on that one. Just wasn't quick enough. Oh. oh. Looks like he's playing hide and squeak. He's not going to come out again, is he? Over the back of the store again. This is going to be a high body shot. High body on next shot. The reason I'm doing that is because headshots on these are going straight through and the clip in the barn wall behind. So a body shot slows the pallet down quite dramatically. This is another one that's coming for a walk along the back of the straw. That must have been the one that I saw going behind that pallet earlier on. There's a lot of reactivity across the back wall here. So I've got one there. And I've got another one on the left hand side here by the pallet. I want the pallet, just won't settle down. So if he's not going to settle down, I'm going to have to go back and take it out on his mate. And here we go. There's the shot. Again, high body shot. Didn't have his head on show. And it was a nice, clean body shot. There he is, expired behind some straw, so I kicked it out of the way and fished him out. Just as I was wrapping up the evening, look at this. I went across and checked the tractor and I saw that dirty little sod staring back at me. Now I don't know if you can see this, but if you look where that highlighter is, there's a dark patch. This is urine and they're just peeing and crapping everywhere. This is the reason these animals have to go. No excuses, they've got to be shot. Now this is the rat that I shot behind that hay bale, so you can see it was running past. You can see the entry wound on its right hand side, it travels straight through and even that went out the other side there. But that has absolutely destroyed his heart and lungs and finished him off good and proper. Thanks for watching.